We learn about Pasha Chedesh again. So we see that the uh, Taylor should have started off. That's what Rabbi Yitzchak says. The Taylor should have started off with this Pasha Chedesh Zalachem Reish Chadashim. It's a general mitzvah. And it's the first mitzvah that they got. So it should have been, it should have started off with the Chedesh Zalachem. Why this start off with Bereish is? Because Koyach Maisev Higid La'ame Losses Lahem Nachlas Goyim. He wanted to show the power of his actions. He told it to the, his nation, the Yidin, to give them the Nachla of the Goyim. So there was a time that he took it away. He, he took it away from the Yidin, he gave it to the Goyim. And now he gave it to the Yidin back. And if they say that it was stolen, show them this Rashi that he gave it to us. So what is this answer? Noachesh Zalachem should have been the first thing. Koyach Ma'is it could have been somewhere else. So we can say as follows. That the whole idea of Achesh Zalachem and Koyach Ma'isi Higi La'ami Lostam Nachas Goyim is the idea that um, Hashem wanted that there should be a world. And what happened? He started to create the world with Midas Adin judgment and he saw he wouldn't be able to survive so he gave me the Sanachamim so what is the judgment so when the world was created there was nothing there besides God and when God is revealed there's no existence at all because everything gets nullified to God. Not just bitul ayesh, the nullification of your existence or your uh, gaiva, your holiness and everything else that you hold yourself great and everything else that you invattle that, but also bitul matzis, non-existent at all. Therefore, he brought him to me. One level to another level to another level and brought him to him until there's a world of that to show him wicked people run the world. What do we have to do? Hashem decided to give us a trader, my Martin trader, like it says. That before the world was created, before Martin Taylor, the world was shaking. Martin Taylor brought relaxation in the world. So it's given on the third day, the third month. Number three is the Bid of Rachamim. Passion. So by us doing Taylor mitzvahs in the world, we bring we change over the Helem to Elikus. Nashem wanted Adina Betachtainim. So we see that Sadiqim, on the other hand, they do Hashem's will, but, but they don't come to Tachtainim at all. They see bad, they push it away. They have no connection to a uh, bad. About Shuvah, on the other hand, 
changes over the Tachtoin. A Baal went into places where he doesn't belong. A Baal went into a place where he doesn't belong. And God forbid, he doesn't have Eder beforehand. Now he does Tshuva, he steals from the Klippa and, and the Yitzhahara and Efshim Bahamas, he steals from it. And makes it to Kedusha. And that's through Ava Rabba, a great Ava to Hashem. And this Ava to Hashem changes over that Vedas to Zachis. So he steals from the other side, a place where it doesn't belong, belong to him. Because we know a tzaddik stays away from it. A tzaddik deals only with things that are shaykh to him. And every year, what is shaykh to him? He takes the not, not the goyishkeit. So what, when he did something goyishkeit, so now he does tshuva, he takes it out from the goyishkeit and brings it to Kedusha. That's stealing. And that's what the... And that's what the... And that's what the Goyim are saying also that we stole their Yisrael. The same idea. But the whole purpose was that the Nefesh Baham should turn, turn into a Nefesh of the Kis. A Yitzhahara should turn into a Nefesh Baham and a Nefesh of the Yitzhahim. And that is the Avaida. So to begin with, we have to steal. And afterwards, we bring another course. And that's why we say, G'dayla Maish Tzadikim is greater than Maish Tzadikim. Maish Tzadikim, he created a world. Created, he created a yesh, an existence. He made a world. And then we know that Hashem, he does, whatever, he, whatever he gives, he doesn't take back. Usually he doesn't take back. There's one they said, they told David to take it back. He doesn't want the riches for free. He doesn't want all this uh, gold from Shemayim. He got, he, got, uh, he got help from God. But usually Hashem doesn't take back. Tzadikim change over from the Yesh to Ayin. They mevato the Yesh and make it an Ayin. So the Maish Tzadikim are greater. The actions of the righteous are even greater. And Baal for sure. They take the Tachn Shabbatachtin. They make a dwelling place for God all the way down there. They change it. And that's the idea of Achayish Azel Achem Reish Chadashim. That is the idea of Bittu. Because we know that the moon is the total nullification in the beginning of the month. Rish That's in a bitu. That we vatal the ayin to a yesh. We vatal the yesh to an ayin, making an ayin a nothing. That's in a bitu. And then achayish um, azeh, we see that only Moshe Rabbeinu had nevuah of zeh. All the Nevi'im, all of the prophets, prophesied Koya Mar Hashem. Moshe Rabbeinu was able to point. He had everything there. And the reason for that is because he was as Asplaklai Amira. He was a light which shone. Until even his Etzba saw Elikos. And Etzba, uh, his finger, which his finger is a, a physical thing, that even saw Alikus. That's Moshe Rabbeinu. So our Abayda is to mevat the Yesh. So Take should have been HaChesh Delachem. But it started off in Breshis. And there's a reason why it was called Bereshis, because Bereshis barely came. 
And through this, which we do our Aveda, which the Rishchidish Nisan is greater than any other Rishchidish. So even though every Rishchidish has this bitul nullification, but it's only Behelim, concealed. But by an Rishchidish Zerachem Rishchadosh, my Rishchidish is there, that you can actually see it, it's more by Rishchidish Nisan. It's more by Rishchidish Nisan. So that's our Aveda. Our Aveda is to draw down Alikus into the world. To change over from your existence to non-existent. And therefore, just like when you have Chachmes Chitzenius, math, other things, science, Biology. When you learned more, th- when you learned other things beforehand, now you're going into biology, something else. You have a much more understanding. So to hear also the whole bracious until Achaydish, you were involved with matters of Bria Sa'elam and everything else. And the building of the Mishkan. Or some Pasha's boy. So basically, all these things that have been the Avis and Moshe. So when it comes to Achayish Alachem, your Aveda is more recognized. That means you understand this Aveda of Bittul. So therefore, it's Taka starts on the Pasach Mavreshis. And then it goes further. So the Ebesha help. That just like the world was created for Kedusha, the world was created for Gilead of Atzim, say itself. So every Shchidesh only reveals what was Behelim and brings it Begilui. It brings the essence of God higher than nature, way above nature. That through the bitu nullification. So since the whole purpose of uh, this clip is to be transformed to Gedusha, to holiness, so therefore it's not called stealing. It's returning it to where it was before. So therefore, we tell the Goyim also this, that what they want to take Eretz Yisrael, they want to take you to Shalayim, they want to have the mask, they want to have everything else, the Abisha gave it to the Yidin. And that was the whole purpose. Because there's four things which are called the Nachla inheritance. That's Torah, Yidin, Eretz Yisrael. And the Yidin are called Nachla, inheritance. So Be'ez Hashem, through our Aveda, the time of Golos, which Davke through the Golos, we bring Yisrin Eret Min HaChoyshech, we transform the goal is to go Ula and we'll have the Binyan Beis Hamikdash Hashlishi imminently right now. Long live our Master, Teacher, and ever King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our Master, Teacher, and ever King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our Master, Teacher, and ever King Mashiach forever and ever.